The AppSwing mobile platform web enables existing Windows and Java applications and delivers them to the browser of an Apple iPhone or iPod Touch. We've overcome the closed environment of the Apple iPhone, which would normally prohibit the use of third-party applications. Instead, our technology gives you access to your corporate applications through the iPhone's browser. AppSwing's technology is designed for use on a small iPhone screen. We only deliver those parts of your corporate applications which you want to access and update remotely. The following demonstration will show you step by step how to access Amdocs Clarify CRM from the browser of an Apple iPod Touch. It will also show you how you can update the application in real time. First, select the Safari browser from the device's home screen, then go to the web address for the AppSwing server. This brings up the AppSwing login page. Enter your existing Windows username and password and then click the login button. Your credentials are authenticated. Then a check is made to see which applications have been published for you to access on this device. You are then presented with a simple portal of your available applications. Here you can see two applications, Mobile Address Book and Amdocs Clarify. In this instance, we're going to use the Clarify application, so simply click on the associated link on the portal. The application then starts on the server, running securely behind the corporate firewall. The Clarify application has many functions. In this example, a view for service engineers has been published to the device. This allows you to see details of outstanding requests and to raise a new support ticket. The first screen you see on the device lists all the user's outstanding requests. By selecting the link associated with a request, you will now see further details such as a description of the problem, who originally raised it and their phone number. On a phone-enabled device such as the iPhone, you could click the telephone number to initiate a call. Once you've finished, you can then either go back to the list of outstanding requests or mark the call as completed. To create a new case, simply click on the New Call link on the menu at the top of the screen. You can then search for the user making the request. In this case, entering John returns a unique match and so the full name is displayed. You can then request a list of all the equipment allocated to this user. From this list, select the item which has the fault. Then enter details of the specific problem encountered along with a full description. By clicking on the Save button, the details are stored on the server in real time and this information is now instantly available to other users. An updated list of outstanding requests is then sent back to the device. Once you've finished, exit the application and close the browser. You then return to the device's home screen. And remember, as this is a web-based application with nothing stored on the device, you can be confident that if the device goes missing, no information is also lost. You can find out further information from iPhone4Apps.com, including details of how to access your central applications from your own iPhone.